Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today on the show, we're gonna have a garden in a glass with some booze. You know what? On the rocks. Let's get into it. All right, it's great to have every single one of you back here today. Today, I'm putting out my hashtag Spice on the Rocks 2021 challenge cocktail. And you know what? The only winners here are you, the viewer, and everybody participating. And the reason I say that is because we all get to try new things and stretch ourselves in directions we maybe haven't thought about going before. Whether you're picking it up out of a book, online, or just throwing some things together, you know what? It's your story, your cocktail, and you get to enjoy it. So today I'm bringing you the fruits of the garden. Now, I live in Canada and it's snowing. However, if you live in an area where it is warm, run out to your garden, grab some of those veggies and fruits that you love and slap it into this cocktail and try it out. And please leave a comment down below and tell me what you think or what you think should go in this or what your favorite fruits and veggies are to put in this. So today's cocktail is a spicy tomato gin and tonic. So I'm really stretching the gin and tonic vibe here. And this is a build in the glass cocktail. So the first thing we have to do is grab our accoutrements to rim the glass. We need seven and a half grams of salt, seven and a half grams of cayenne pepper, seven and a half grams of black pepper, and then you just mix it all together. Now that you're done with your spoon, throw it away because you don't need it. Move that off to the side, grab your lime of choice, slap it down with authority, and grab a knife. You're gonna teach it a hard lesson by cutting this into quarters. And one of the reasons you're going to need quarters is because you're going to use a quarter of this lime directly in your recipe. So now that I'm done with my knife and I put it off to the side because I'm a klutz and I have this tendency to hurt myself, you grab your glass. Grab your first lime quarter and we're going to run it around the edge of the glass and now we're going to rim the glass in our spicy concoction. All right, put that there. Get rid of this because you don't need it anymore. Well, actually you will for the next one you make and slap your glass down. So the first thing you're going to have to grab is a jalapeno. Move your glass over because it's in the way. As I say, um, grab your knife again because you need these things. And what you wanna do is you wanna cut two slices and throw them in like so. Not bad, looks good. However, Cut two more slices because we're going to use these for your garnish. We'll put these up front right here. Move these out of the way. Throw your knife back down. And now you want to grab some mini tomato. In this case, I'm using little heirloom tomatoes. And the good thing about this is I can get these in different little colors and that makes everything really awesome visually for me. Now, if you only have just the regular mini tomatoes, that's fine too. Doesn't matter the color. This is your cocktail after all. And we'll just throw them in here like so. Now that we have that in there, you come over here and you grab a little bit of dill. We're gonna rip the top off and throw that in there like the tree that it is. Grab your muddle. And we're going to treat this to a thrashing they have never seen before. So we're gonna muddle this. We're not pounding the crap out of these. We're just breaking all of this down and releasing all the essences and the juices. All right, look at that. Oh, it smells so good, full of dilly goodness. Oh yeah, you just, you, you can't go wrong. You know what? First, clean that off because you're gonna to forget to. Move that over here. And now you're gonna grab some ice. So we're gonna grab our tongs and we wanna put two or three decent sized ice cubes in here. Like so. Next, grab your Lee & Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire actually, I believe is how it's pronounced, but you can pronounce it Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce or whatever it is you want. And we're gonna use one dash. Next, after that, you're going to grab your hot soy, hot soy, your hot sauce of choice. In this case, what I had in the fridge is some Frank's Red Hot. And you know what? Because Frank's puts that shit on everything. 
pop it open. We're gonna give this one splash again. There you go, because this is your cocktail. <clears throat> Come all the way back here and grab your quarter of a lime. Your quarter of a lime is gonna be roughly seven and a half ounces, 7.5 milliliters, which works out to a quarter of an ounce. And David has no idea what he's talking about today. I cannot math. So we'll squeeze that in, discard this. Next, you're gonna open up your gin of choice. In this case, I'm using Old Tom Gin. It's a nice little gin here. It's not so easy to get where I live, but we are gonna use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Oh yeah, look at that. Close this off, slap that back down. You don't need this anymore. Grab your tonic of choice. In my case, I'm using Canada Dry. You can use whatever uh, tonic water is your choice or what you can get locally. And what I'll do is really just top this now. Oh yeah, look at that. Put that off to the side. We're going to grab two of our jalapenos, throw those in there like so. Grab your cucumber. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut two little wheels of cucumber. Now the good thing about the cucumber is if you find the glass, the drink too spicy, you will actually be able to use the cucumber to cool your mouth down. <clears throat> Take another piece of dill, cut it and separate it from the stock and throw it on top like so. Look at this, absolutely a beautiful garden in a glass, and you can just be smell the goodness coming off of this. The first thing you get is definitely a little bit of the dill. It's right there. You can get some of the jalapeno. You know what? And let's see what we get. And I'm gonna get a mouthful of mostly tonic first, so let's try this. Mmm, that is good. That is really good. Mm -mm. The spice, the salt, the pepper, the cayenne pepper. You know what, we'll just jam all that in there. Give it some extra love. We'll take another shot. That is so good. Mm. The dill is there. You get that zip from the jalapenos. The tomato juice. You would think it would throw it over the edge, but it doesn't. It sits in there very, very well. Oh, mmm. So much better than a garden in a glass. Oh yeah. You know what? <clears throat> Go out there and try this. Tell me what you think. Take the dill out, put the dill in, add more peppers. You know, experiment and have fun. Leave a comment down below if you think that I should use a different type of gin. Because why not? Your gin creates different flavors. If you think I should do more strange and gardeny fresh cocktails, please leave a comment down below. What I will do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description below for you to go through and adjust to your personal preferences. If this is your first time to my channel, please check out the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support us, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps me to keep bringing these videos to you. And you know what? You have a great day. Oh. Uh, this is a make... What are you laughing at? Is it my face? Fresca. <laughs> ah, uh, okay. You got a problem. We drinking Fresca, boy! Should I jump cut that or leave that in the end? <laughs> leave that in the end. Okay, all right.